Hello, this is Pastor Goodman, and I just want to share with you a brief devotional moment. This morning, I sort of woke up with a uh, sermon rolling through my head. Now, that could be good news or that could be bad news, but I want to share with you just a brief uh, idea of what the, the sermon in my head this morning was all about. I'm going to call it Something's Missing. You may have heard me tell the story of uh, my mom and her pimento cheese. She likes to make pimento cheese from scratch, and when Debbie and I got married, Debbie got to taste the pimento cheese, and she liked it, and she knew that I liked it, so she asked my mom for the recipe. Well, Mom gave Debbie the recipe, and a few months later, Debbie tried to make the pimento cheese. It just didn't work out right. Something was not quite there. So she thought, well, maybe I messed up, and so she tried it again. It just didn't work out right. After a while, we just gave up on trying the pimento cheese recipe and until one day we were talking with Mom and said, you know, we've tried to make your pimento cheese, and it just doesn't come out right. Something's missing. And Mom said, well, tell me what the recipe says. And so we read the recipe off to Mom, and she says, Oh, you've got to understand that uh, I don't always give out the complete recipe when I give things out to folks because, well, I don't want theirs to taste as good as mine. Something was missing. She had forgot to tell us one key little ingredient to help give it that extra kick of flavor. You know, as we begin a new year, 2016 is well in front of us with all kinds of possibilities with all kinds of things that we will be able to do for God and I wonder in our lives is there something missing I hope that the something missing is not Jesus Christ you know that's got to be the first thing that we find that's got to be the first thing that we make a part of our lives but then as Christians we have to understand that there are other things that might be missing in our relationship with Christ to make it stronger. Are we reading the Bible? Are we engaging in prayer? Are we participating in small group activities and growing closer to one another as we grow closer to God? Are we attending church on a regular basis? Are we supporting the church through as United Methodists say, our prayers, our presence, our gifts, our service, and our witness. These are all things that uh, can easily fall through the cracks. And it's going to be easy for us to let something go missing. And so as 2016 begins, I encourage you to look at your relationship with Jesus Christ, your relationship with with the church, your relationship with other Christians, your relationship with non-Christians, and to think about what is missing and try to remedy that situation. Uh, get in touch with the, uh, the author of the recipe. Get in touch with the author of life and see what God might be telling you you need to do to make 2016 a terrific year, not only for yourself, but for the kingdom of God as you continue to live and worship and serve him. God bless. Have a great day, and I hope to see you in church on Sunday.